Right, what I was trying to make there was this, and what it is is the beginnings of a spark gap. This lump of copper here is going to be connected to a mag, um, and hopefully a spark will jump to another electrode at the top here, which is out of focus, but you can see that. Um, it's kind of a weird setup. I looked at the drawing and it requires some funny curious things. Um, I made it out of copper because it's what I had and it's got a bit of weight to it and it will cool the electrodes and I can bolt a terminal in here if necessary. But the curious thing I didn't know much about is this little guy on the right here apparently is called a teaser electrode. Now I didn't know much about these. Its purpose is to help get a more uh, stable repeatable spark when you have sharp electrodes. If you don't have the teaser um, the voltage builds up between the two electrodes but the point where it actually ionizes the air can be quite random. The point where the spark forms will be quite random. With the teaser, although it's insulated from the copper and not collected, connected to anything, um, it seems like it acts as a little reservoir of electrons and because it's very very close to the main electrode, in this case 7 thou, a tiny spark will form there, ionize some gas and make the main spark form at a much more consistent voltage. That's my understanding. Right, I didn't know much about this. So I went home and did some research. I googled teaser electrode. Now yeah, guess what? They're widely available and could be attached to any part of the body you would desire to electrocute and one or two parts that you wouldn't. So uh, I figured that might not be the kind of teaser electrode we're talking about here. And uh, well, my research didn't go that well. Anyway, there it is. That's the plan. I've got six of these to make and they're a bit fiddly, but um, I think it's going to work. All right, next thing's going to be a bit of cutting. I've got some aluminum plate here that I'm going to make up the next bits out of. Um, I want it cut nice and square. Since my mill's in this configuration, I've got a reasonably sharp slitting saw. I thought we'd just run it through it. I've just squared it up on the table with an angle plate. And uh, we'll clamp it down and see how that goes. Right now, I ain't know how to move. And I don't want scary things to happen, but that seems fairly secure. I'm just going to take it easy, slowly, see what happens. Sixty-five RPM and a nice slow feed. And, uh, I'm hoping nothing goes flying anywhere. Doesn't sound too bad. I think that's doing a nice job. I'm just going to get some WD-40 and I might just slow it down a little more. I don't want the chips to bond to the teeth, but we're in with a chance. Right, I've slowed things down just a little bit and put some WD-40 on it and it sounds and looks a lot better. There's some run out on the cutter. I got a new arbor and that's straight, but there's some run out on this cutter. Anyway, we're, uh, we're getting there going nicely. a bit of material but I want a nice square edge 
and uh, that worked out in the end 100 rpm and uh, two and a quarter inches per minute through that in a couple of minutes nice and quick nice and square next thing is to set it up in a lathe and bore it so that's what i'm going to do right i just calculated the center height of this uh, motor drive here and uh, with my height gauge hopefully i've got it right scribed a line onto the plate there i'm just going to do a quick visual um bozo check because i've got a habit of doing calculations late in the evening and uh, measuring to the right fraction of the wrong inch or something like that. I'll just line it up with something on the motor, make sure it is roughly on centre height. One of those lines there. I know it's not guaranteed, it's not guaranteed, but just tell me if I've made a gross error. I think I'm close there. I'll check my measurements once more and take it over to the lathe and we've got to bore a hole into the middle of that. So let's do that. All right, that's in the forge. I've just centered it up, putting a live center onto my crosshairs. It's not absolutely critical, this hole. Good eyeballs usually within five there, so um, that should do us on this. There's no other dimensions relying on it, so it's not like the errors are going to accumulate. And we'll do some boring. <laughs> finish and it's on size so uh, just break the edges take it out see how it is all right quick bozo check oh yeah that's gonna be fine now some people are gonna know what this is when they see this and others gonna have to wait for the next episode thanks for watching good night